manufacturing is on a positive trend. You know, they're bouncing back uh, after years of sluggish growth. But this positive trend is coming with, uh, obviously, the challenges along with that. The manufacturing sector is such a big part of the global economy. As companies are adopting a lot of innovative technologies, there's simply not enough skilled labor that they can add to the workforce to drive these technologies and innovations for their benefits. Well, manufacturers don't just face the traditional problems of having efficiency and effectiveness anymore. It's now looking at agility and flexibility to change with speed. So how do we balance lines? How do we change lines? How do we change resources while still keeping inventory low with profitability? You talk about the latest technologies, IOTs and robotics and automation. You need to continuously adopt it and evolve it. The business experience platform, which really helps the customer in adopting to these uh, changes and the technology requirement for transformation in towards Industry 4.0 and Industry Renaissance. Our technologies are particularly good at helping students develop the skills that they'll need to enter the workforce. And those key skills are not only just subject matter expertise, but really a lot of what they call soft skills, the social skills, in order to collaborate with other professionals in separate domains. Engineers will need to work with designers and they'll need to also work with marketers. The 3D experience platform allows all of these functional roles to communicate and collaborate together efficiently. We have several technologies and solutions well, all the way from modeling to actually simulation from actually planning to execution. So we have a whole range of solutions that will cut across the value chain that will include operational efficiency, collaboration, and continuous improvement. Now, if you think of that, if you have data within your fingertips and you can collaborate with them fast, then you really can be flexible to respond to market quick. Customers like Airbus, Boeing, um, L'Oreal, uh, they've used our systems, and that's why they are now so far ahead from their competitors. The time to act is now. Companies will have to adopt lifelong learning practices. The innovations and the technologies that are now available are happening much faster than they ever have. I'll say the first few steps is not to look at capabilities first, but to look at their business needs, but to look at their own operations and how they operate, what's their eventual goals, and what is their aim and mission. From there, then develop a business case on what to improve and the roadmap about how to do it. Now, we know that there's a lot of several companies who struggle to have that kind of system or go in place, but we can help them to assist before identifying what kind of solutions that should help them on their digitalization transformation journey. We do have a well-defined process to work with our customer partner. It's called value engagement. We can sit with customer to assess their the immediate need, the pain points. We define what we actually achieve as a, as a part of their investment. This standard framework, which eventually help our customer to realize value and to excel in their technological roadmap.